Yellowstone National Park is the oldest national park in the world, established in 1872. Yellowstone, plus the national forests and state lands surrounding it, make up the largest, most pristine ecosystem in the lower 48 states. In the 20th century, the greater Yellowstone ecosystem was totally intact. All of the organisms that should have been here were here, except for one. In the 1920s, the park managers decided wolves should be removed from Yellowstone. They were believed to be killing too many elk and bison. This wolf eradication program worked, and by 1930, there were no more wolves left in Yellowstone. Throughout the country, animals common in Yellowstone were close to extinction due to hunting and habitat loss. In the 1940s, bald eagle populations precipitously dropped due to the introduction of the pesticide DDT. By the 1960s, there were only 450 breeding pairs of bald eagles in the lower 48 states, when 200 years earlier, there had been 25,000 pairs. Meanwhile, in Yellowstone, without predators, elk and bison populations increased and overgrazed the park, especially northern Yellowstone. Willow and aspen trees became rare. Overgrazing is most evident when comparing vegetation in fenced enclosures to the surrounding vegetation. In the late 1960s and 70s, biologists and environmentalists began pushing for wolf reintroduction into Yellowstone. It took many years of political wrangling, but in 1995 and 96, 31 Canadian gray wolves were brought into Yellowstone. And the introduction worked. The first wolves to live in Yellowstone in almost 80 years formed packs and successfully produced pups. Since then, the Yellowstone wolf population has increased to a high of 174 wolves. The wolf reintroduction has led to some surprising changes. As elk numbers drop, the aspen and willows increase and beavers return. The high wolf numbers have caused a decline in coyotes. Coyotes prey on foxes and crawhounds, so now both of those populations have increased. Everything in nature truly is connected to everything else. But even in Yellowstone, there are threats to biodiversity. One major grizzly bear food source is threatened. To prepare for hibernation, grizzly bears must switch to a high calorie diet in the fall. One of their high calorie food choices is white bark pine seeds. But white bark pine is declining in Yellowstone due to an introduced fungal disease and pine bark beetles. Beetle populations have increased in recent years due to global warming. Grizzly bear populations appear stable in Yellowstone. However, their numbers in surrounding areas are declining as humans encroach on their territory. The only way to maintain biodiversity is to preserve habitat for animals and the plants they depend upon.